Hello everybody! Lady Revan here and welcome to another episode of Star Wars, uh, Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Last time we, uh, got a mission from Pandras to break into the military base. We did a romance dialogue with Clarif. And we beat four, the first four contestants of the Terrace Dueling Ring. So now we're about to face the champion witch. I just got the cat in which is that crazy rodian you saw in the corner in one of the earlier episodes? Captain, Captain, Captain. Play game! Alrighty. Have a very special presentation in store for you. Hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic, and he's the best damn duelist in the game today. Give it up for Twitch! But Twitch's opponent plans to take the champion down. Night after night, battle after battle, we've watched this young phenom rise to the ranks. In this corner, the challenger for the title of Taris Dueling Champion, the Mysterious Stranger. All right. Yay. Revealed. All right. Let's go back for our blasters. Heavy blaster. Why is it being screwed? That's why it's being screwed. Master, and Master. Okay. Awesome. Let's save. Energy 
shield. Medcat. <laughs> It's down again. I'm gonna run me out of energy shields. Flip another one. Mysterious Stranger! Alrighty. That was a lot. Oh, we even gained a level up. What can I do? Neil. Ah, Gwen's not close enough. Get closer to Gwen. Now, Neil. There we go. What? Let's talk to Twitch. Twitch. Kumbamuli Yantonga Buksha Unenong Kava Bobra Kinun Chuba Gratok Bendix Journal entry added. Ah, Bendix Star Killer will face us now, you say? We have a bounty on his head. Wonder if it's time to collect. So let's try that. I've been watching you on the dueling ring. Not bad for an amateur. I'm tempted to come out of retirement and show you what it's like to do battle against a real champion, but I only fight in death matches. And not too many people are willing to step into the ring knowing they won't ever come out. How about you, stranger? You think you got what it takes? I'm here to collect the bounty on your head, then, Dad. So you're the one doing Zax's dirty work. Well, I've got some bad news for you, little bounty hunter. There's no way you're bringing me in. This cantina is wired with a top-level security grid. You pull a weapon on me and the auto-fire turrets will fry you before you can even pull the trigger. So you just hide like the coward? Why would I ever want to leave here? I've got food and drinks, place to stay, and everybody treats me with the respect I've earned for my dueling career. But if you're set on collecting that bounty, I'll make you a deal. 
I kind of miss the fight game. My hand is itching for the feel of a blaster in my grip. I've seen you in the duel ring. You're just good enough to spark my interest. So I'll agree to face you in a death match. You win, you get to collect that bounty for killing me. I'm not interested in death match. Mm -hmm. Never figured you for a coward. You ever get the guts to fight me, come on back and we can set the match up. Otherwise, we've got nothing to talk about. Check our journal. Get next Mother retirement face us. And the only one who will face us is Spectacular. Alright. What are you doing? So you're the one. This game. Why would I ever want but if you're- I've seen you in the duel. Finally, fresh meat. Azura will set it up. Go talk to him. It will take some time to arrange, so no point sticking around here until then. I'll be back when it's time for you to die. Alright. So we're not gonna face him quite yet. We're gonna do some other stuff first. We're gonna go collect that door and break into a military base. Bastila, I was wondering something. How did those Vulcans manage to capture a famous Jedi like you? Were you knocked out when your escape pod crashed? N no, I was conscious. But my force powers were exhausted from using my battle meditation in the battle for the Ender Spire. Without my help, you might have never gotten off the ship alive. Fair enough, but I've seen you Jedi in action. There's, there's no way those thugs could have stood a chance against your lightsaber. My lightsaber was misplaced. I couldn't find it after the crash. I looked everywhere in that pod. The Vulcas came and overwhelmed me even as I was searching for my weapon. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You lost your lightsaber? <laughs> I mean, isn't that a violation of some kind of Jedi code or something? Maybe losing lightsabers is a side effect of a battle medication. This is no laughing matter. During the crash, my lightsaber must have... It, it must have fallen from my belt and rolled under my seat. The Vulcans probably found it there when they searched the wreckage. Hey, 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 don't get mad. I'm sorry. It's just funny to think of a... Legendary Jedi losing her lightsaber. Take my advice. This is one detail you might want to keep out of the history texts. I hardly consider myself a legend, Calf. Though I will consider your advice when I relate these events to the Jedi Council. There is no need for them to know every detail of what transpired. All right, Bastila. Holding an Anakin boost and a lightsaber. He offered you, he endured it out, and ready he good, and he behind Barukia. And now, for the Tufta, Gloria. Get out of here, you goggle-eyed freak! You're too ugly for the upper city. Yeah, go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. Gloria, and he behind Barukia. Hey, you kids, leave that authority alone. Why do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the upper city. Just when he's different, just give you the right to attack him. Come on, let's go. I don't want to listen to this alien lover anymore. <laughs> Okay now, a lot of help. 
Basila, did you ever think about joining all the Jedi who were running off to follow Revan and Malak when they went to fight the Mandalorians? That was nearly five years ago. I was still an apprentice. My battle meditation hadn't even manifested itself. Yet even then I had the wisdom to obey the will of the Council. Unlike Revan. I guess. Still, do you ever wonder if things could have been different? I mean, would Revan and Malak still have been corrupted if the Council had supported them instead of dragging its feet? Do you not blame Revan's corruption on the Council. Your Republic saw only the threat of the Mandalorians, but the wisdom of the Masters saw beyond the immediate threat. What did they see exactly? There was something lurking out there. Something that devoured Revan and Malak, and many other Jedi. Had the Council sent us all into the unknown, how many more would have fallen? So you're saying we should have done nothing? Just let the Mandalorians conquer us on a post? I mean, the Republic was under attack, and the Order abandoned us. We did not abandon you. But the Council were not about to throw lives away foolishly. In time, we would have aided you against the Mandalorians. But you couldn't wait. Revan and Malak offered a quicker answer. And the Republic chose to walk the easy path rather than the path of wisdom. Now we see the results all around us. You asked me if I think things could have been different. I know they could have. If Revan had only listened to the Council, millions of innocent people would still be alive. Yeah, right. And every single one of them would have been speaking Mandalorian. I, I think we're done here. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Well then. So we got some talk about Revan Hachu apanki, jishawa anibun ka sha chona si ichua byong bo joni, mina mamba to mule ra, haku gri kat gota la parabola, tanga bok sha um nak nong, kin kun shin shin kin, ni kin kun na bule mule raji kun, shuni yun ni ji ji alduana, kava volpa muli kumana. So everybody's talking about our death match. Kandra said you'd sell me the T3M4. Kandra said you'd sell me, sell the T3M4 or Mokao danya foki, chachiska to punta kakaspaka, bano oto. Is outrageous. How could you have? Can chopa chawi yun kun. What do yama kama wuna henak neck? Bugra shak kunti chi wa um chawa. Dong abuk shami no nok. Tinku ukapa. Topa no aska. Chi nisko na kava abaka. So you can get dark side points. Blackmail her into giving the droid for free, but this is a light side run. Mm, let's remove Basil for the moment. Add TV and four. Okay. Save. So that we're in the spot for her bed. Oh, your bed fell. That's why you're upset. I'm sorry. Okay, give me a moment. I'm getting a little bit. There you go, Sophie. It's back. Okay. Uh-huh. 
Oh yes, already select. There we go. Ah, no. okay. So real quick, I'm gonna take T3 to the military base. Admission and Zalvar. Okay. How dare you speak to me while you travel in the presence of alien Wookiee scum! You have violated one of this great planet's oldest and most revered laws! You have brought aliens to the upper city! They are a blight upon TARDIS! They take our jobs and our homes and spread their filth throughout our world! <laughs> yeah, you tell him, Big Z! This beast just growled at me! It is a savage creature that will hurt someone! How dare you brazenly parade about the upper city with such alien scum at your side! I, Gordon Kolu, founder of the Anti-Alien League, will not stand for this! Which is worse, your hate mongering or your ignorance? You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers. Oh, so he's a crazy. How dare you speak to me while you have. Uh, yeah, you. This. How. You are like all the rest. So, yes, you can harass him with aliens. Oh, my excellent. Wait. Let's keep mission for a while. Let me go Yeah, fast one. I'll go walking around some more. Welcome back. Are you in need of healing or medical supplies? I can treat you right here at the center for almost any condition, except the raccoon disease, of course. Actually, I want part Goodbye. Of that. So, let's real quick. Selection. Welcome back. Are you in need of healing or medical supplies? You have the serum? Impossible. How did you get this? No, wait. I don't really want to know. Can can I see it? The serum, I mean. I need to see if there is enough for me to analyze it so I can start producing it in mass quantities. There you go. Hmm, let me see. 
Yes, this is it. A cure for the Rat Ghoul disease. With this sample, I can make enough serum for everyone. The people of Terrace owe you a debt they can never repay. Please, take this small reward. It isn't much, but it's all I could afford. A few credits and two spare med packs. I appreciate everything you've done. There are many who would have sold the serum to the crime lord Davik for a much higher sum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? You probably persuade him for more. Goodbye and good health to you. Yay! Okay. Now, add mission back. Move first. Add mission. You blew it! If you'd brought that rat ghoul serum to Zax, you would have made it worth your while. Oh, no, you had to go and do the honorable thing. On behalf of Gadden, I want to offer the thanks of all the hidden Vex. You rode like a true champion in the swoop race. I'm sorry Gadden can't be here to thank you in person, but he's retired to the safety of his private chambers. I'm afraid he's grieving over Brezhik's death. Aww. Nope, Gadden doesn't blame me for Brezhik's death. Brezhik violated the customs and traditions of Taris. He dishonored himself by refusing to honor his wager. He got what he deserved. Even Gadden has to realize that. Even so, I think Gadden hoped that somehow Breja could be made to realize the error of his ways. Despite everything he'd done, Gadden probably would have forgiven him. Gadden always was too soft on Breja. I just wish I'd been there when that scum got what was coming to him. But he isn't out of danger yet. The surviving Volkers will still want him dead. He's a prime target now, as are you. You better be careful out on the streets. Huh, so there is additional dialogue. On it. Damn! Still Hey, 
Hey, Bastila. You ever oh. use the forest just for fun? You know, a little jolt to the forest to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off? I would never use the force for such petty and trivial revenge. The mere thought of it's preposterous. Aw, oh, come on. There's got to be times when you've thought about it. Don't be so stuck up. You can tell me. I am not stuck up. I merely have the years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just because you're some Jedi doesn't mean you can be a prissy little... What the... Hey, that wasn't funny. I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. Please, do try to be less clumsy in the future. Okay. So we know that Basila's not all that older than Mission. Oh, not all that much older than Mission. Rather. How old is Basila? The world may never know. Greetings once more, Upworlder. Do you bring news of my apprentice? Have you discovered her fate and proved yourself to be a true savior of my people? Oh, I got into this already. It is as I feared, then. She joins the list of those who have given their lives in the service of our cause. But though I am saddened by this news, there is yet hope. By finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself worthy, Upworlder. You are to be the beacon on our path to salvation. You will guide us to the promised land. Guide you? But I, I don't even know where the promised land is. You are marked, Upworlder. Even my dim old eyes can see the mantle of destiny that cloaks you. Perhaps old Rukil knows you better than you know yourself. I am old. I have lived a hundred years in the Undercity, cast down into the darkness. I know the legends and history of our people, and now you must learn it too. Very well. Tell me the history of your people. The great city of Taris covers the entire surface of this planet. There is no land to grow food. Kelp harvests and the creatures of the sea are our only food source. A century ago, Rising levels of toxic pollution poisoned the oceans, and famine swept the planet. The rich hoarded food for their own use, and the poor were left to starve and die. From what I've seen of Terrace, it doesn't look like much has changed. Except for the upper city, people here are just as bad off as the poor in your little history. But the poor rose up against this tyranny, and civil war engulfed the planet. Millions died in the fighting, and huge sections of Taurus were destroyed or abandoned. The rebellion was crushed in the end. Thousands were taken prisoner. The jails could not hold them all, and so the practice of banishing all prisoners to the Undercity was born. Is that how you came to be down here? Many brave men and women were banished here to the Undercity for their part in the rebellion. 
People like my father and grandfather were cast down along with their families. Now we live a dark existence beneath the streets of Terrace, a life devoid of all hope but one, the Promised Land, and you will be the one to show us the way to get there. How can I show you to this Promised Land when I don't even know what it is? Legends tell of a self-sufficient colony founded just before the famine and lost during the Civil War. A paradise beneath the Undercity, where droid servants tend to every need. For many years, I searched for the Promised Land, just as my grandfather and father did before me. When I became old and gray, my apprentice continued the search on my behalf. Sounds like a myth to me. Something to give the people here some false hope to cling to so they don't go mad with despair. I have collected many clues hinting at its location. The Journal of My Apprentice provides yet more information. But still, there are too many pieces missing from this puzzle. But I know my father and grandfather each had journals where they recorded their own discoveries. Perhaps with their journals, I could at last uncover its hidden location. I have all three journals. Okay, so I take them. Can it be true? Is it possible that at long last, the dream of my father and grandfather before him will be fulfilled? I... I can hardly bear to look. Hmm. Yes. Yes, of course. Now I understand. It all makes sense. Now I see why the Promised Land has been so hard to find. It is so obvious. You have done a great thing, Upworlder. A selfless act that will bring great joy to all the people of this village. I must take this to Gendar right away. Frukil, what do you want now? Have you more fables of a hidden paradise just waiting for us to find it? You may not think these are fables after you see what I have brought you, Gendar. Look at these journals! What? No, it can't be. Are these real, Rukil? Is this information accurate? I swear to you, everything in these journals is true, Gendar. The Promised Land. I told you I would find it. The entrance is far from here, Rukil. It will take us weeks to get there, perhaps even months. And we will have to cross many Rakgul-infested areas. I do not deny the journey will be hard, Gendar. But surely it is better than the miserable life we have here. Wise words, Rukil. Our supplies are high right now. We could leave by nightfall. I will tell the others to prepare for the journey. Thank you once again, Upworlder. I will say a final goodbye. For where we are going, I fear you cannot come. The journey to the Promised Land is long and arduous. Maybe I should come with you. I can help you along the journey. No, Upworlder. I cannot ask that. The journey will take many, many weeks. And those who make the journey cannot return. That was the final secret of the Promised Land. When the colony was created, it was designed so that people could enter willingly, but they could never leave again. This was to ensure secrecy on the project. We must part ways here, Upworlder. I sense your destiny is yet to be chosen, but the destiny of my people is at the end of the long journey ahead of us. Right, so a little tip, don't give him the journals, if you're going to do that, until after you've completed every single quest in the Outcast Village, because everybody will leave, and then you have no way of actually leaving the others. I mean, you can still cure the people, but they're going to be in an empty city, or rather, empty village all on their own, and that sucks. Alrighty. Elevator back up. Oh, so one thing I've not shown that I've been meaning to is this teleport thing. So anytime that this isn't frayed out, we can do this return to hideout. And it will take us to the hideout. 
right here. Ta da! Shortcuts. So we broke into the base, but we didn't get the code. Oh, did they ever tell Dia that the bomb is in the car? You're back. Did you did you manage to get Holden to withdraw the price on my head? I spoke with Holden. I convinced him to remove the bounty on your head. He, he called the bounty off? That's wonderful. I only wish I had something to give you as a reward. Wait a minute. I know. I don't have many credits, but there is something I can give you. It's a family heirloom. It's not much, but it's something. Thank you, Dia. This reward will be fine. I can never truly repay you for helping me, but you'll always have my thanks for what you did. So you can deny the reward to get light side points, but I mean, items received. What we get? Mechanic ID. I wonder if we go back and play chaos. Never actually checked. It's gonna end the episode here, but now I'm curious. Ah, but it's too far back. We'll go we'll see you in a minute. Let's make our way back to the cantina. Um, Hey, I know you! You're the mysterious stranger, right? Everybody's saying you're gonna fight Bendix Starkiller in an illegal death match. You know, Bendix never lost a match in his life, right? You need to take a look at my weapons and armor. Because of the Sith quarantine, I haven't told me that already. Play a Chani fire dances. Sit sniper rifle. Ooh, that's fancy. Them in the stealth point. Look for the generator on the flash mine, gas mine, plasma mine. Infinite plasma mines! episode. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell for future updates in this series. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment. I love to hear your feedback. Um, although, again, a reminder, 
if you're here and you don't want spoilers, be wary of reading other people's comments because I can't necessarily see them and mark them as soon as they come up. Alrighty then, until next time. Bye!